what is up what is up what is up youtube it is your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics and today we are going to be talking about drawing boobies and you know actually mean boobies so let's get into the video so i can break down on the way how you can learn how to draw a women's breasts so first off i'm going to show you how not to draw women's breasts so the first thing you don't ever want to do is like draw two big old basketballs on a woman's chest because then it's just unproportionate and it just doesn't look right pretty much what you want to do is you want to simulate a type of uh, gravity effect or probably like a sag of some sort but when you just draw like two big old basketballs it just looks like she's wearing a push-up bra or she's just unnatural but let me show you the correct way on how to do it so if you're just trying to get them down you just want to get some practice that you're doing your rough sketch of it first thing I do is I always draw like two small circles on the bottom just to show where it starts off at like when I talked about thick women with the peanut style same way just a little bit different so you're gonna be doing the same thing like the peanut style two circles uh, one oval on the bottom and then one circle on top and then pretty much you just rough sketch out the shape of the breast depending if the character you're creating is more busty or if she's just more um, flat and make sure you keep a keen mind to how your character's position uh, usually like a straightforward position is going to be always the easiest but once you get your character doing bends and doing like like flips or whatever or stretching then obviously your, the body's going to change so are the breasts when it comes to the way it's going to look on your picture but let me go and show you a different way on how to do this so when you're drawing a woman's chest, pretty much you want to figure out where the center point of her breasts are going to be at, where it's going to start changing direction in the curve. And um, you just really want to figure that out because you don't want to put it too high or too low. If you're if she's like maybe older, like an older woman, then you can put it way lower. But as you can see right here, I have my center line pretty much dead center. So my character will probably be maybe in like, you know, young 20s. She could be young. And that's just one way how to look at that. And like I said earlier, when you're doing crazy angles and things like that, you really want to play around with it and just rough sketch it out. Some people, they're talented. I don't know how they do it. I'm not like that. I had to rough sketch out my characters when I'm doing them. As you can see right here, I'm just rough sketching out uh, a quick mannequin style body just to show you guys how I can, how, how my process works. And everyone's a little bit different, you know. Uh, pretty much, you just really got to work and play with it if you don't do anything um, like this then you're, you're, you're just a good artist but me this is how I function and yeah and as I was saying earlier when it comes to the position like let's say your character's leaning back you really have to figure out the position or where you're gonna position in the breasts as you can see you can even still see that there's a little bit of sag in my character that I'm drawing up right here um, if you look at the left breast in particular you can see how it sags out just a little bit with gravity because that's what it does to women's chests and that's how you get that more natural look and so, like I said, you don't want to draw like ginormous basketballs and just throw them up on a woman's chest because then it just doesn't look right. So, you know, big old basketball, it's a no-go and blah. So I'm going to show you like a quick rough sketch of how it would be if you did it the wrong way. If you just did it like a cartoony style, like super cartoony. This way would be practical if you were drawing super cartoony, like Looney Tunes style or whatever, or like just... You know Cartoon Network style Looney Tune. Um, this way would be proper because it's just the way how the character we built. And if you're drawing more for realistics, realism when it comes to your images, you don't want to do that. And so, like I said, the, the double circle way, the peanut way, really helps me out a lot, if, if you will. Double circle, uh, if infant sign, like an eight figure eight, it really does help me get a better look for a breast, as you can see there. Now, when it comes to drawing a character from the side, um, personally, I am not good at drawing characters from the side. I had to have a figure of some sort, a um, resource for me to look at, some type of image of someone standing to their side so I can figure out how to do it. I can't just go off the top of my head. As you can see here, this image is off the top, top of my head and I'm trying my best to do a side angle, really hard. Um, drawing a woman's breasts, you have to show the crease mark in like where her, her, her area is at, where, where uh, blah, 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 I can't explain, I can't talk right now, but you have to show the crease mark, I'm drawing it right now, and um, pretty much you have to show where that's located at on a woman on from this side. If she's really flat, then you don't, you don't got to show it, but if she's more voluptuous, then it's 
more apparent that you do have to show it just to show that it's there because if you don't then it'll look kind of weird or funky unless she's wearing like baggy clothing then by all means go ahead don't show it but that is a very important thing you have to keep in mind when you're drawing a character from the side and like i said personally me i can't draw people from the side just because that's just me and like I said earlier, pretty much what you just want to do is just experiment, trial and error, uh, just make a bunch of rough sketches, use your mannequin style drawings just to get these body forms down because that's the only way how I was able to get good at it. And like I said before in previous videos, that's the only way how I can draw people is making the mannequins. Without the mannequins, then I'm pretty much hopeless and just really work on the way how the body functions. Maybe you can just do what I'm doing right here. I'm just and particularly focusing on the women's torso lower and upper torso without the arms or the legs attached and i'm just trying to figure out different ways how i can draw the perspective of her body before i start adding all the other attachments such as her arms legs and head and lower end you know you just got to really just trial and error it because without trial and error we're never going to get better and um that's pretty much it of the video I'm gonna I'm gonna let it play here soon but that's pretty much all I gotta say just really when you're just starting out trying to draw women's chest just really try focusing on that two circle method the, the the bigger potato oval on the bottom and then a smaller regular circle on the top and then you just outline it and it works really well for me and like I said you really want to keep in mind when it comes to gravitation uh, it's kind of like a weird goofy s turn in a way if you're trying to draw like a fish hook when you're making your breasts when you're drawing the outline of the, the actual curvatures and stuff like that but pretty much just have fun with it uh, eventually you I mean people will get better at it and then yeah you just do what you got to do but that's pretty much my video it's your boy Domus here comment since graphics rate comment subscribe uh, let me know what you guys want me to draw next if you guys want another tutorial or if you guys just want some more speed arts let me know I'm gonna keep on uploading videos your boy out please enjoy the rest of the video I'm gonna let it play by itself with some music enjoy